Back to East Texas now. If you noticed, I am not alone at the desk right now. I am joined by the ever so amazing Miss Ann Watson with the Lady Golfers of the Cascades. And you have a pretty fun event coming up. Oh, we do. We do. It's great. What uh, What are you planning on this week? Well, we uh, we have an event. It's called Hit the Greens for the Pink. The Lady Golfers of the Cascades over the past several years have hosted a, some sort of a golf event for breast cancer awareness. But this is the first year we are sponsoring or partnering with Bethesda Health Clinic. And we're very excited about that. Now, what differences does that make for how many people come to the event, the amount of money you're able to raise? Well, we got some fantastic sponsors that are very loyal to Bethesda, which we love. And uh, so we, we're going to have about 100 golfers, which we're great. We could have taken 120, but we, we, we got it at 100, Trip and we're, down a we're happy. <laughs> Fortunately, we had scheduled it for last Thursday, and it, we, we had a downpour, so we had to reschedule it for uh, this Thursday. And so we lost a couple of teams because of that. But that's okay. I mean, the first rain of the season would 100% happen right. on the day of such an amazing tournament. Of course, tournament. of course. Now, this is a golf tournament that is benefiting a pretty amazing cause. Can you tell us a little it bit is. about that? Well, what happened was because we wanted to uh, support breast cancer, uh, we have a lot of ladies, including myself, who've been affected by breast cancer. Cancer. And um, we wanted to keep the money locally in the East Texas area. So we started looking for an organization that could partner with us and, and ob obtain that goal for us. And Bethesda, I'd heard so many great things about Bethesda. So um, it's so important for uh, women, for early detection, for success of recovery from breast cancer. So um, this money will go to help their uh, working uninsured to uh, get the notif you know the notice that they need and the help that they need early. Now they keep I mean they're repeatedly lowering the age for when we're supposed to start getting our mammograms. It used to be 50, now it's 40. Yeah. Some women are as early as 35 these days. How is this um, affecting early detection, do you think, the constant shifting and changing, especially for those who are un uninsured? Well, you know, it's hard for men at my age, but <laughs> so, but I, I think the earlier you can start having mammograms, the better off you are. For, my own personal experience, mine was caught on a normal annual mammogram. So it's so important for women to have a mammogram uh, once a year. And if, the earlier you can start, the greater. And of course, if, if women have uh, some sort of genetic uh, dis, you know, disorder or their you know, mother inclination. And, yeah, inclination, something like that, then obviously they should definitely get checked early. So. Now, you're saying that this money will all be kept right here in East Texas to Correct. help those uninsured women. Can you walk me through that? How are we keeping this money here for East Texas women? Well, it's all going to Bethesda. The proceeds will all go to Bethesda. And Bethesda is setting aside this money to help in breast cancer uh, detection, awareness, and treatment. And, and don't discount men in this process. I have a very good friend who was affected, a male friend who was affected by breast cancer. So men obviously should be checked also. So if a man out there feels a lump, go get, go get it checked. Yeah, yes, as soon as, possible. as soon as possible. You're absolutely right. I do think quite a few people, and including myself, occasionally forget men can also be affected by absolutely. breast cancer as easily as women can. It absolutely. Can just as detrimental to their health as well. Absolutely. How do people access this money? Do they go to Bethesda and they say, hey, I need a mammogram, I feel a lump, but I'm not insured and I don't have the money to pay for it? Yeah, I, now I'm not the expert on Bethesda totally since fine. we don't have anyone here, but my understanding is that, you know, you, you go to Bethesda and you, you fill out an application to see if you qualify for their benefits. And I'm not sure what all the criteria is there, but obviously you could reach out to Bethesda and find out from them. But they would they would then help a person through the steps of uh, you know what they need to do as far as uh, uh, getting something checked. But what's really important to me is that a lot of women who are not insured do not get that annual mammogram because it's expensive. Yeah. So it's so important if even if you don't feel anything, just go just to Bethesda and see if you qualify for assistance in getting a mammogram. In the, now, getting off of Bethesda, let's walk through the golf tournament. Can okay. you tell me a little bit about what yeah. that day is going to look like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be fun. <laughs> um, we're going to have, we're doing a, what you call a step-aside scramble. Oh, yeah. It's a four-person <laughs> team. And um, so in the morning, we're going to have breakfast 
Um, and then we're going to have um, a real fun group called Z Stretch. It's going to be there to give the golfers a mini stretch before they go out on the course. Got to stay. Got to get <laughs> That's <up>. right. <laughs> we have a lot of, of raffle prizes. We're selling raffle tickets so people can come and they'll see the raffle prizes. We've had some really generous people donate raffle prizes. We've got gift certificates from restaurants like Bernard's, Olive Garden. Um, we've got golf equipment, you know, to give away. So lots of lots of really fun things. Really fun things. Yeah. I used to work at a golf club, so golf tournaments were always my favorite days some so yep. many exciting people come and typically people that you wouldn't expect to be golfers right. are you expecting to see any of that some newbies out there oh i think we'll see some newbies but you know a large majority of the people that are playing in this event are cascades members and i so appreciate the cascades members that have stepped up to support this event and, uh, and also, after we play golf, we're going to have a nice luncheon. So some of our sponsors are coming to the luncheon. Uh, R.D. Plato and his wife Jennifer Plato with the Plato Group are actually um, sponsoring our entire lunch. So they will be there. Rayanne Goolsby from Goolsby Tires. We have just a ton of, of sponsors, and they're going to come and, and visit with us. We're also going to have some Bethesda people there. Megan is going to make some comments about Bethesda. We're going to show a video about a breast cancer patient which will be informative to the people there. And of course, we're gonna do the fun stuff, give away cash awards and raffle prizes. <laughs> now, what has it been like seeing the community come out of the woodwork and support this so wholeheartedly? I mean, you had a rain out and right. still people still, are like, it's yeah. okay, a couple people dropped out, but it seems like the vast majority are sticking with it they, and saying, all right, let's continue. They are, and I've, I've, I've had appreciated it so much. I'm fairly new to the Tyler area. I, my husband and I moved here back in February of 2021, and I have been so impressed by the generosity and the caring of the people in the Tyler community. So, and they're showing it by their support of this event. Now, if you feel comfortable sharing, how has your own experience with breast cancer impacted the way you're viewing this event and the love and support that you've put into it? Well, of course, when you when you hear the C word, it's terrifying to, to a lot of people. So it's, it's important to me that people get support when they find out they have it. Um, myself, I was extremely fortunate because it was caught so early, and that's what's so important about the early detection. So I'm, I'm pretty passionate about making sure that women, you know, want to get out and, and make sure that they get checked regularly and that they check themselves regularly. So, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else before I let you go that you would like uh, our viewers to know about this amazing event? Well, we hope this won't be the first year. We hope this is our, this is uh, Bethesda's 20th year anniversary. I don't know whether you knew that, but they're celebrating their 20th year anniversary, which is a fantastic year for us to start partnering with them. And we hope to continue to do this in future years. Alrighty, once again, Miss Ann Watson with the Lady Golfers of the Cascade.